My name is David Holtzman. I'm 70 years old. I've been a musician since I was four years old. There was a little upright piano. Slowly but surely, it became the center of my life. I must have been eight years old when I had a virus that kept me bedridden for a few days. And when I got out of bed, they took me to the hospital and they found out that I'd lost the hearing in my left ear because of nerve damage. 90% was gone. 10 years after that, at the age of 18, out of the blue, I de developed epilepsy. I always connected it to the fact that there was nerve damage, but that was every bit as great a crisis as the hearing loss, and the two intertwined. And by the time I was 20, I started having a professional career, and uh, until something like the age of 40, both a combination of medication and hearing loss meant that I had a seizure while falling off my bike. I was making a recording at the time, and I was sick and tired of practicing, and so I went out on a bike without a helmet. I went to a hospital, and the doctors didn't realize that the hearing in my right ear was half gone. And that really caused the damage to my musical career, much more than the first one. And then through a friend, I found a doctor who told me one, an implant was right for me. And she said it would change my life, which by which she meant I'd become more human. And uh, she took me to NYU hospital. I got a cochlear implant. I got the resound hearing aid. And it was a journey that I started on. I'm hearing precision in terms of volume, in terms of pitch and it's making things much easier to me. And the beauty which comes from my being able to fool around with the dials on the two machines means that the joy is increasing. And finally, after five years, beginning to play with other people because I realize I'm capable of hearing them well enough. And it's not only the musical joy, but the social joy of playing with others is something every musician needs. So my life is improving in that way all the time now. I've been giving concerts and recording with other people, and that's great. On uh, February 19th, I give a concert at the Manor Center in New York called The Celebration. And it really is as much about celebrating people as celebrating machines. The fact that people were so wonderful to me and they gave me the strength to pursue this is really what counts. And so I'll be playing with love, happiness, and gratitude for the composers whose music I'm playing. They're all people who supported me over the last few years.